Welcome to another tutorial from DAdenAim.com. In this tutorial, the third in this current series of using CoSpaces with AI tools, we're going to be using ChatGPT and Eleven Labs to create an audio file that's going to be part of our script. We're then going to pull it all together by importing this into CoSpaces, coding the um, various elements of our adventure. There's a lot to do, so let's get right into it. Now that we've um, got our objects into our 360 degree space, we need to create a scenario or a, a script, if you like, to actually um, enable people who use this tool, your adventure, your presentation, to know how to get around. So as we, in the last video, learned how to insert objects and place them in space in the right perspective, what we're going to do now is we're going to add some audio. And to do that, I'm going to use ChatGPT as a text-based prompt to write a script for me. Obviously, if you don't have access to that, you would have to then just write your uh, script that you can do. But I'm going to show you how you could do that with uh, ChatGPT. And then we're going to use another tool called Eleven Labs, and that's going to record that for us. So let's just nip, a, nip over to ChatGPT here. Um, and based on the scenario of this room, as you know, um, it's, got, it's got no doors. So we need to turn this into a, an escape game or escape presentation of something. And we put two things in here. And obviously this is just for um, representation really, but come across the ChatGPT here. And I've written this prompt that says, I'm a virtual butler or rather the ChatGPT is a virtual butler. Now this is the key thing about using these text-based prompts is you have to teach it um, the AI how you want it to behave. So I've told it it's a virtual butler in a mansion. Now telling it it's a virtual butler in a mansion should help it with a large language model uh, take a particular tone or a particular voice um, with the script that it's going to write. And then I'm setting some parameters for it. You're able to observe and advise guests in every room. You can be seen but not heard. So that tells him how, or tells the AI how it's going to be. And the story starts in a room, the library, but it appears to have no doors. So I'm de describing the picture that we know to it, so it knows what's going on. And the room has seats, a warm fire, and some windows. So now here, we've, so we've described the scene, set the tone that we want the AI to write in, uh, and then I'm gonna say, I have to work out how to get out of the room, so it's in the first person. Um, in the room, there is a book and a pizza that could be useful for me to work out how to get out of the room. Your job is to explain to me where I am and what my options are. I could um, ask it to talk, you know, um, uh, let's, let's, let's do this now. Your tone with the guests is to be formal, uh, but supportive. Okay, let's see what happens. So what it's written here is, is something very flowery. Um, we could probably use this uh, and change this. Greetings, esteemed guest. I mean, that's a bit, um, uh, you know, a bit too formal. Um, I could have put in the prompt up here, uh, my name, um, welcome to the library of the mansion, I'm your virtual butler, we could, given, we could have given the butler a name, here to assist you in any way possible, let me just some light on your current situation, but let's just, just take this, um, and we can, I'm going to copy this, this text, this is going to be the text that I want to use in Eleven Labs, which is now going to be uh, a virtual uh, recording for me, so I'm just going to copy that, let's go across to Eleven Labs, um, and on the free account, it allows you to use 11,000 characters uh, a month, which roughly works out to be between 1,400 and 2,500 words a month. Um, so you can use this tool for free, but you just need to be a little bit careful about how many characters you use. So you can see here in the bottom left-hand corner, you can paste 5,000 characters at a time. I've got 13,043 characters left. You would have 11,000. I've already been using this a lot this month. So let's just paste in ChatGPT's text in here. So we can use this space to now edit this. So I'm gonna spend a few moments here just editing this text to get it how I want it to be. I've used 1,370. If I press generate, um, that will go count against my total. Um, but I'm just gonna do some editing here and we'll come back and look at it. So I spent some time here just fiddling around with the text and actually what I've done is I've reduced it a little bit. I've reduced it down. 1200 words. I've just, you know, taken away some of the, the, the greetings is a bit too flowery. So it's greetings, I'm Jeeves, your virtual butler, here to assist you in a possible. You find yourself in the library of the mansion, just leave it at that because obviously you can see. 
The room you find yourself in is the library, that's a repetition. So let's take this out. Um, there we go, so I've made it even shorter. You know, you need to just think about this. People are gonna be listening to your text, so you need to make it um, short and punchy. The room you find yourself in is the library. Uh, no doors, actually there's a way out to continue, so it sets the scene. The room, there's a book and a pizza that will be of use to you. Yada, 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 so all the way down. So there we go, I've ready, I want to do that. So now what I'm gonna click on is generate, and what um, the uh, Eleven Lab site does, it's got a, a virtual version, it's got a version of my voice which it will use as a model, but you can choose a whole load of other ones that you want and you can choose those as you, as you, as you like. I'm gonna stick with my cloned voice. So we'll click on generate. So Eleven Labs have generated my audio and it was playing from down here. So here it is, it's generated, I can listen to it. Um, it's gonna be a minute long. You might decide that that's a bit too long for your uh, listeners to listen to, but that means that the, the pace is quite um, slow to be listened to, which is, which is fine. Um, so you might decide to uh, reduce the text on this, but remember you should be doing the reduction in text before you click generate, because it comes, it gets counted off against your monthly total and that's only like two and a half thousand words. So you need to make sure, and it includes spaces, don't forget, you get 11,000 characters, which includes spaces. So each of these double spaces here are counted. Uh, so once you are happy with your recording, with, with your text, then click on generate, be quite you know stingy with this, and then it will generate it for you, and then you can, over here in the bottom left-hand corner, you can download it. So I'm gonna download this, and it's downloaded, I'm going to um, show in Finder, and I'm going to move this across to the folder that I want to put it in, so click on desktop, here, and I'm gonna put it in here, and I will rename it in a moment, so let's just click down here, I'll just rename this, so I will rename this, because I want to know which one, which audio this is, so I'm gonna call this library text, there we go, so I know what it is in, on my page. So it's gonna to relate to that particular picture that I want to um, put the audio in. So let's go across to Coastfaces now and start organizing our assets and our audio um, so we can switch from one place to another. We're back in the library now and uh, we can make this, if you like, into a pick a path adventure and we could touch on each of these icons uh, and jump to a different scene. So let's have a look what we've got going on over here to remind ourselves. If we um, clicked on the book, let's jump to the dining room. Uh, so uh, we'll play the audio first, we'll do some coding. So the first thing I need to do is click on upload. I want to upload some sound. I want to click on upload from here. I'm gonna to go to my desktop. I'm gonna to go to Cospaces 3 and library text and open. And that audio is going to be uploaded to CoSpaces. There it is for me to use. So now we're prepped and ready to go. We've already um, Alec told CoSpaces that these objects that we've got, the book and the pizza, are going to be used in CoSpaces. Um, let's imagine if you clicked on the pizza, you might jump to the kitchen. But let's, um, oh no, we'll work, we'll work it out. Let's click on the, we'll make the book the object we can jump from one space to another. So we come to code and let's fill this up. And we've got some options down here. Um, when, when play is clicked, let's look at transform. I want to play a sound, so let's click on actions, I think it is. Play sound, that's what we want. So what we want to do here is when play is clicked, that's when the program opens up. Play sound, we've uploaded that sound, we called it library text. Here's the list already in here, library text. And we don't want any other thing, anything else to happen. We want to make sure that our um, participants actually listen to all the content in the message, because there could be some clues in there. Um, ours is going to be very simple just to show how all this works. We're gonna wait until finished and make that true. So nothing can happen until the um, object is clicked on. Right, when red book is clicked, if we duplicate this, and we want red book and we want pizza, because this is the, that's how they've appeared in the program, we are now saying red book and pizza which makes this very easy to use. We haven't got anything going on for the um, pizza at the moment, let's just do the red book. We want to jump to the next scene, 
So we could we could play a video, but we we're going to go all the way down here to jump to the next scene. Go to scene, and this is when naming the scenes is important. So go to scene. We want to go to the dining room. So when the red book is clicked, jump to the dining room. But when the red book is clicked, we could make another sprite appear. We could might have an open version of the of the book. Um, as another 3D model and another, another scene to, to be, have some text on it or something like that that you could read. It's entirely up to you how you organize this, but very simply what we've got now is an action that will play some sound um, and let's just have a quick uh, play and sort of see if this works. Click on play. Greetings, I am Jeeves, your virtual butler, here to assist you in any way possible. The room you find yourself in is the library. While it may initially appear to have no doors, I assure you that there is a way to exit and continue your journey through the mansion. To leave the room, you have to solve a puzzle. So we had to listen to the audio before anything can happen. And now that the audio is finished, if you if we roll over the object, you can see now we can click on here and it will take us to the next scene. So now the red book allowed us to um, jump to this other space here. And we could put other clues in here to or other presentations or uh, videos or however you want to organize this in terms of a presentation or a virtual walkthrough or however you want to use it. And this is how you can use um, tools like Midjourney or uh, Blockade Labs to create your 360 degree images, upload those into CoSpaces create your own 3D objects to place in these uh, 360 spaces to create a, an immersive presentation, a VR journey, if you like, um, using these AR tools. So uh, good luck with your own versions of this and let's see what you can produce. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate your support. Until the next time, Kaki Tiano.